time to put up or shut up. The WBA has ordered Gennady Golovkin versus Danny Jacobs. So, uh, Daniel Jacobs is fresh off a victory from uh, against Sergio Mora. And if you go back a couple of videos, um, I gave Mora a shot unless one thing happened. And I said, are we going to get to see the old Sergio Mora or are we going to see an old Sergio Mora? And uh, definitely the latter on that one. We saw an old Sergio Mora. So Gennady Golovkin has uh, 23 knockouts in a row. And I think, what was it 17 um, title defenses or give or take? I might be off by one or two uh, and the WBA even though it's the wrong thing to do taking your your super champion or what have you and then telling him to fight the regular champion and giving it 30 days I'm going to give them a pass in this case because it, it, it's what we need it's necessary for those who continue for, for whatever reason to think Gennady Golovkin is an urban legend, I think you make that fight with Danny, Danny Daniel Jacobs and, and he beats Jacobs and stops him, which is what I think is going to happen um, if they fight a stoppage, then what's your excuse then? I mean, the man had cancer. Is that, is that going to be the excuse? You know, Kel Brook, the excuse is he was a middleweight when obviously he was the one who was exposed in the fight. He's a middleweight, not a welterweight. He's always been a middleweight. He just gets his weight down and then on fight night he's much bigger than the other welterweights. If he fights Billy Joke Saunders, you'll say, well, well, who was he? So, Danny Jacobs is the fight that needs to be made. Danny Jacobs is the owner of uh, 12 knockouts in a row himself. And Golovkin is currently in talks with Team Jacobs. And, uh, but they're doing a smart thing. Tommy Loeffler over there at uh, K2, they're also in talks with Billy Joke Saunders. So that if um, one fight doesn't fall through and the other fight's available and then, of course, with Jacobs, they'll go to a purse bid. If they can't reach a, a negotiation, if they can't negotiate and reach a deal within 30 days, then it goes to purse bid and then the fight has to happen in um, sometime within the next 120 days, I believe it is. So... Um, Jacobs claims he's been calling Golovkin out for years and, and he's partially right. He has been, but then there's always been this caveat, this little fine print that says, well, if the money's right, okay. And then you, then you price yourself out. And I mean, we, we all know what the deal is. And then the politics of boxing, of course, one guy is, uh, tied to one network HBO but Jacobs isn't tied to anything and the fact that uh, Team Heyman has allowed Amir Khan on HBO and um, there was someone else who crossed over and, and fought on HBO it slipped my mind right now that shouldn't be a problem the network shouldn't be a problem the, the key is who's going to win the purse bid so we'll see how that plays out. And as far as Billy Joke Saunders, he, <laughs> you know what? Let me let me see if I can find. Uh, I probably should have prepared better for this. Let me see if I can find a quote. Um, because I mean, everybody's everybody's King Kong now. Everybody's pounding their chest. I want Golovkin. They think they see something, which they really don't. Um, Billy Joe Saunders, a little while back, said, well, 
he needed 18 months to get ready for Golovkin. I tell you, boy, they, they just, they don't make them like they used to. Like, that's all I'll say about that. Listen, you have a belt. I'm one of the four major belts, the WBO title. You're a champion. There, there, there is no, I need 18 months. I mean, you're already at pretty much close to the mount, the mountaintop. So it, it's like, it's time to unify. So this 18 month stuff, once again, <laughs> don't make them like they used to. And then he said, then he got an offer, a three, not one, not three million dollar offer by uh, Golovkin's team to fight. And we'll do it in your hometown, Billy Joke. What do you do? You disappear. So now, and then, so after the Kell Brook fight, okay, everybody comes out to Woodward. Let, let's, and I quote, this is, this is Billy Joe Saunders. I always said I needed 18 months to prepare for Triple G after the Eubank fight. It's now time to test myself to see what I'm made of. This is not a fight I've got to take. It's one I want to take. I'm ready to fight him wherever he wants. England, America, or in a field. I'm fighting in October. Give me a week off and I'll fight him anyway. I need one fight, then I'm ready to go. The one thing that can get in the way of stopping this fight is his mandatory, not me. I'm ready to fight him. Well, dude, I mean, <laughs> Billy Joke, you come popping that stuff. <sighs> come on, dude. It's like you're talking now because you know the IBF is ordered. Or, or I'm sorry, the WBA is ordered Golovkin versus Jacobs. And you know you have something lined up in October. So it's like, okay, first you need 18 months. Now... I'm ready to fight, but I need to have this fight in October. Then I'll be ready. And then October comes by, and then, and then what? So I think best case scenario, even though the WBA is is wrong for the way it's going about it. Best case scenario is fight Danny Jacobs in December, um, January at the latest. But then already have a deal in place, maybe April or, or whenever to fight Saunders, who will have another excuse by then. Well, I fought in October and I need another fight because I've been off X amount of time. I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. Um, so Golovkin has had this WBA belt for six years six and for two of those years he's been the super champion um Daniel Jacobs he um he won the WBA title in 2014 against uh Fletcher, the kid Fletcher, first name uh, Fletcher, and first name slips my mind. Um, and then he defended it against no mandatories in two years. I mean, he fought uh, uh, Caleb Truix, he fought Mora, he fought Chocolate, uh, Kid Chocolate, uh, Peter Quillen, and then he fought Mora again, and it's like, Come on, dude. I mean, in a fight that people are like, oh, we want to see it again. I, nobody on my block wanted to see the Mora fight again. And if they did, they would have wanted it immediately. They would have wanted it right away. But, um, so it's time to put up or shut up, fellas. I mean, put up or shut up. Put your belt up, put your belt up, or, or get out of town. Either way, let this man become unified. Let him take care of everything he needs. Um, 
or undefeated and undisputed. I mean, you rarely hear that. But the announcer says, undefeated, undisputed. Um, he can do that, not necessarily with Jacobs, but with the uh, fight with um, Billy Joe Saunders. It's just not going to happen. If it does, it won't happen right away. If it does, Golovkin gonna be should be about 36 or 37 years old before Saunders. If he isn't stripped in some form or fashion. So the WBA is actually going against its own rules by ordering this super <laughs> super champion to fight the uh, regular champion, which in essence is an interim champion, but there is an interim champion. And then you got your champion at recess, your champion emeritus, and all that other BS. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Everybody thinks they see a weak spot in Golovkin. If you if you go to my post-fight commentary on what happened in the fight with Kell Brook, um, I'm one of the, the, the minority that see it the other way. If I was avoiding Golovkin um, prior to the Brook fight, I'm definitely avoiding him now. I'm avoiding him more than anything. People see, think they see, uh, they see something. The word "exposed" keeps getting thrown around. But if anyone is, has been exposed, I think it's Kell Brook, who was bigger than Golovkin. 30 days out was bigger than Golovkin 130 days out let's keep it real a 7 day weigh in he's bigger than Golovkin on fight night I mean just look just look at the two bodies and tell me who the bigger man was on fight night so Brook I look at Brook's career now and say he's he's the one that's exposed he's been shedding those pounds fighting smaller guys kind of like with, with Paul Williams when he first came on the scene and he was at 154, what have you. And you saw some of the guys were were older and were on their way on their way out, but they knew he couldn't compete with those guys at 154. They knew it, so they they're like, okay, let's let's move you down and let you beat up on smaller guys. And if if, if they punch you, you can take those punches. That's what happened there. And the same thing happened in or around that weight class for years. I remember Julian Jackson had to move. He had to kind of move up because nobody would fight him in a particular weight class. But by the time he got to the point where he moved up again, he wasn't able to take. He could give, but he wasn't able to take the punches of those bigger guys. And so... Um, different scenario but same type of story so with Brooke my advice to him would be you might want to keep it at 160 because um, there's, there's a lot more waiting for you at 154 and I, I think in the end you'll, you'll really see who was exposed last Saturday night nevertheless not to get off subject so we'll see what happens in the next 20 28, 27 more days on how does Golovkin versus Jacobs and Golovkin, look, Golovkin, he doesn't care if it's PBC, he'll fight the kid, Jacobs, in his hometown of Brooklyn, um, I could see Jacobs maybe getting to the halfway part, maybe getting to the halfway point of the fight and then He's, it's going to be Dmitry Pirog part two. The only reason he might last longer than he did with Pirog is because of what happened with Pirog. It's, it's already happened. I don't know, though. I think Golovkin is a different type of animal. What you do is I think Team Golovkin might have to, to sacrifice a little bit more on the, uh, the side of the pot. Make the pot sweeter. Because if, it, if it's a purse bid, obviously he's going to get more. Maybe he can shave a little bit off of what he's going to earn 
just to fight Jacob so that he can legitimize himself for a few more naysayers. Everybody's not gonna convert. Well, Jacob's wasn't this, Jacob's had cancer. It, uh, that wasn't the excuse when he beat Chocolate though. So why, why should it be now? But you know how the game goes. Anyway, follow us at The Fight Journal on Twitter. Sign up to have emails sent to you by going to thefightjournal.com and type your email in the box at the top left side. Um, you won't have to come looking for us. Every story we do, every video we do, will come directly to your email. Follow our friends at DPG Uncut TV for great entertainment news, latest entertainment news, and uh, hip-hop news also. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.